from the RC Network Toy Grade and bringing you another video. Now in every video here on the Toy Grade channel, we're gonna be taking a look at the unboxing, the running video, and also the full review in under 10 minutes. Now in front of you is the GP Toys S916. They have it titled as the Flame Piece, and it is of course their 1 12th scale two-wheel drive brushed off-road truck. This is a full ready to run, of course, two wheel drive, like I stated, all terrain and water resistant out of the box. Now I picked this up on Amazon and I'll have a link in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. It was right over 70 bucks, which isn't too bad. Now a quick little tour around the box. Before we get to the start of the show, let's take a look at some of the supplement items that came inside the box. First off is the owner's manual for the S916 flame piece. Has some pretty good information, although I did find the most important information on operating your vehicle on the back of the box. You do get an included wall charger for the lithium ion battery. The claimed time is about 150 minutes or two and a half hours to charge up that battery. The battery is a lithium ion 800 milliamp 9.6 volt battery it does come with a proprietary type of connector you do get a t-wrench for taking off the wheels and tires it is a seven millimeter you do get a standard phillips screwdriver for taking all the screws off of your vehicle and also on the remote more on that later two extra body pins the vehicle only takes two so you have a full set extra two extra transmission gears and finally the included 2.4 gigahertz remote now inside my box the actual wheel was removed it was inside the parts bag and it's simply just adding this item straight onto there through a hex connector no screw or anything is necessary and it does take two AA batteries that's not included inside the kit you do have some trim levels right here the on off switch and that's basically it this is a pretty small remote. And finally, the flame piece, the S916 from GP Toys. Now, I'm not sure who comes up with the names of this thing. Maybe it's a translation issue, but flame piece doesn't really translate to the US market. It doesn't really make sense to say the least, but in the end, you do have a two wheel drive, one 12th scale desert buggy looking RC. It does have kind of like a monster truck style of tire. This is definitely a wider tire than you'd find on a desert buggy, but the overall looks of it looks pretty good. You do have some light buckets up here on the top. You do have some driver figure and you even have a very scaled out motor section back here in the far back getting into the chassis of the flame piece is pretty easy. Just simply removing the two body pins here on the hood and the entire chassis or cage actually lifts right up. So you have full access to everything on the underside and you're able to switch your batteries, turn the unit on, check off the motor and everything you'd wanna do on the undercarriage of this RC. Speaking of the undercarriage, you get full independent suspension front and rear and you have a full plastic chassis. It uses all Phillips hardware throughout and you have some durability item upgrades like hinge pin holders that are actually made of metal. Not sure what type of metal, it just says metal. As far as the suspension, it's all plastic and it's slightly bouncy. I don't believe that there's any actual oil inside the shocks and it does ride on not only plastic shock bodies but also plastic shock shafts. Being that this is a two-wheel drive vehicle, all the magic happens in the rear. You are riding on plastic dog bones with steel pins and you do have some metal out drive coming off of the differentials. Also some metal stub axles going out to the wheels. When you have the chassis up, you can access the battery tray just by flipping these four tabs right here on either side and just simply lifting up on the actual battery door to expose the battery tray and to plug the actual unit in. Oddly enough, the actual on off switch for the unit is housed right here next to the antenna. And you do have to actually have this open to turn the unit on and off. I've got the battery all charged up. Let's go outside and give this thing a whirl. And also stay tuned for my review and thoughts on the GP Toys flame piece.
Welcome. There you have it, the GP Toys Flame Piece. You've seen it unboxed, you've seen it run. Now my final thoughts on this 112th scale two-wheel drive desert buggy. So overall, I had a pretty good time running the Flame Piece. It was a two-wheel drive desert buggy. It drove pretty nice, especially on asphalt. It had plenty of traction. Once you get into some loose stuff, you do start to lose traction and you can spin out. Now with that, Driving two-wheel drive vehicles makes you a better driver overall, especially compared to a four-wheel drive, which will have traction coming out of the corners and that type of stuff. So this thing was pretty fun on almost all terrain. It could handle even grass, kind of thick patchy grass. I tried to take it to a place where it would, it would have a, a multitude of different surfaces to run on. Now, although the suspension did a pretty good job while I was running it, it is quite bouncy and you can even see on some of the jumps, it just really sunk into it and didn't really dampen anything. It's just a sprung loaded car. It doesn't have actually any fluid inside the shocks to add that little bit of realism as you're driving. One of the things I didn't like about the flame piece was actually turning the vehicle on. Now, like I showed you in the unboxing video, to turn it on, you actually have to have the chassis up, the battery cover off, to be able to turn this vehicle on. Now, once you have it on, there's a lot of steps to get it buttoned up to where you're actually ready to go run this thing. As far as speed of the flame piece, it's pretty quick considering it's a 1 12th scale brushed vehicle. This thing does have a little bit of get up and go, especially on the included 9.6 volt battery. Runtime on the included battery was about 15 solid minutes. Now, of course, I was filming, setting up cameras, moving things around throughout the 15 minutes, but if you compress it down, you get a good solid 15 minutes of runtime which isn't too bad for that size of battery. Now, you may have noticed the little durability challenge that I put the flame piece through. Yes, those curbs like to jump out in front of you, especially when you're driving. Well, as you've seen, I did break the actual front bumper off completely. Uh, it's no longer uh, attached to the vehicle. And I also cracked the front wheel. That was a huge impact that this thing took on. And I've got to say, I did put it through some aggressive beating to see if I could break it. I think this thing passed the challenge, although I did have some breakages. I think it was a little bit extreme. Well, guys, that is it. That is a quick look at the GP Toys Flame Piece. I've got to say, this thing is pretty fun, especially for the amount of money you set out for it, about 70 bucks. I have a link down in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. Well, guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this item, please feel free to leave it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.